Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. In last week's episode, sadly, we lost track of Deefa Dog. So in this episode, we are going to go and try and find him. I believe. Behind you. The, sorry, what? Behind, what? what? behind me? What do you mean behind me? Behind you. Behind you. Deefa Dog's behind me. Yes, he is. <laughs> he is here behind me. Yeah, yes, guys. Look, last week's episode, he did disappear. I couldn't find him anywhere. And when I logged out and logged back in the next time, he was just sitting right next to me. So I don't know what happened. He did disappear for a little while, but he is back. So he's back here safe and sound. One less thing we have to do this week. And you probably saw in the last episode, if you didn't, go check out the last episode, I'll put a link up the top there, that I had forgotten to pick up the dragon's head, and I did in fact go back and get it. So what do we have to do today? Today we're going to heal up our zombie villager, is one of the things. Now, Bob the villager, I think, has been sitting next to the zombie villager for too long and he thinks it's Halloween and he has put on a costume let's see what he's done he has put on the dragon's head so and the cool thing about the dragon's head is when he is our, is our soon to be resurrected villager when he walks around the mouth opens and shuts it's actually quite cool so i think there it goes open and shutting and because his head stuck into the roof i took the roof off which is a bit risky but anyway um all i did was and i can never get my droppers and dispensers around the right way anyway i used something to put it on his head i believe i got that on video so i will that's probably playing up in the corner right now and it's quite easy actually to put it on so that was a bit cool so that is the intro. The next thing I think we've got to do is just to help out a little villager here who's screaming out for help. So I have made all the ingredients we need. Let me just go and pick them up. Have I got the potion here? Yep, so it's a slash potion of weakness. And I need a golden apple, which I made. There it is. So let's go and see if we can uh, help this guy out. Ooh. So what do we do first? I think we could throw this at it and try not to get us and then feed him the apple. So throw that. And there it goes. So he has sort of got the shivers a little bit. I imagine it would be like that. He's probably feeling a bit flu-like right now. And I think it takes like about 10 minutes or something for him to completely heal up. So we will leave him at it. The only thing I'm worried about is if he becomes a villager, he's sort of open here to maybe villagers, but hopefully that won't happen. So, oh, one other thing. Let's, whilst we're waiting for him, let's get our Fortune 3 pickaxe. Now there are 69 diamonds here. I don't know if anyone commented on how many we're going to get. I'm going to say maybe 180. Got no diamonds in my inventory, so let's try for 180 and see what we get. Quickly just run through these with a bit of a time lapse, I think. Okay, that also got us up to 30 levels, which will possibly come in handy. So the big unveiling. So I said, what did I say? 180, I think, which is just shy of three stacks. No, 128, 138, 139. Oh, that was way off. So if you got 139, you are the winner. You can collect your prize at reception. What else have we done? What have I put in here? I made a stack of rockets, and in this one, I was sitting up in the end, uh, just killing Enderman for quite a while, so we got enough. I have Ender Pearls to last us forever. 
this is just my junk one so yeah actually i went back to the end and did a bit of a fly around and so i got a few more shulker boxes and i got two more light throws i've also got some shulker boxes in here that i haven't used so that is cool we're all set for shulker boxes what will we do today i was thinking that i would attack Ah, this is something else as well. Let me just explain what this is. I was thinking I also might make the the lighthouse. I'm not sure where we'll put it. Maybe, I don't know, over there or something. And with the lighthouse, I thought I wanted some dye. So I thought I'd make a quick little flower farm. Let me switch you on. Sure, that was nice and noisy. So you just run around, you switch that on, you run around, you pick up all the flowers. But unfortunately, I think I've built it in the wrong area. I think you got to build it in a specific area. Because all I get are... Where are they? Uh, poppies and dandelions. And for some reason, my texture pack doesn't really show them in here. Um, what happens if I put them in my hand? Do I see one in my hand? Yeah, I see them in my hand, but just not in the, in the item area. Ooh. I think our, our villager is, is with us. Here he is. He's looking much help, healthier. Probably rename him later, but I'm just going to go and get some glass because it's getting dark. And just stick that over his head. So that'll keep him safe. He can see better. He's not afraid of the sun anymore. It'll keep him safe. So what are we going to do? I'm going to quickly sleep before all the nastiness comes and attacks me. And then we will take on at least getting some sponges and some sea lanterns from over here. It's, although it doesn't have the Elder Guardians, it still has all the other ones that want to laser your eyes out. So I was thinking I might put a pyramid above it with the beacon and give it healing and see if that helps me out. So give me a second to get all the bits and pieces I need and we'll be back to do that. Okay, I think we're all set. What I've done, I've filled up with some strength too. I'll take that whilst I'm over there. I've also got some water breathing, so it helps underwater. I uh, don't know if we'll need the doors. That's a little trick where you put the door, you can stand in it and breathe. I've got lots of blocks. I've bought some blocks of iron, which will form our pyramid. Uh, just got the starting ones. I'm just trying to build a base that we can sort of hide from the guardians from. And the other thing, I took my elytra off because that's not really going to help me under there which gets us our protection four and when i did that i thought oh yeah that's right i made protection four for the hats and boots which i don't normally wear so i put them on as well so i think the protection four will help us a little bit more from the guardians over there so we are going to head over and i'm wondering if i want to do it at night uh yeah why not now nah, look, I'll do it during the day so people can see. Let me just quickly run over and have a sleep. Better have a, something to eat as well. Right, can't do it because it's not right. Here we can watch both of these lovely sunsets here. In okay, case so people are wondering what these numbers are, the orange one up in the near the top left is the time. So I think it's 34. Four, it's 6, 6.33, that's when you can go to sleep. All right, let's go on our little adventure. I think I was going to eat as well since I'm running around. So if anyone's wondering about this, yeah, underneath there's a little bit of redstone. There's something bone mealing up here and it's just shaking the floor back and forth. If you search for Minecraft's uh, flower farm, you will see, I don't think there's anything too hard about them. 
Uh, it only took me a, a little bit to create. And also later on, if we get time, or maybe next episode, I have found where some slimes spawn. So that will be something we get to look at. Now I'm just going to get a bit of a safe distance. I don't know if this is a safe distance or not, but let's have that and that. And let me put another one down here and get some blocks ready. So we can build up this area and give us something to... I think they're not shooting at me. I think they're busy with some squid. It's fine. Today. Oh, maybe it was today. <laughs> Cheeky muggles. Alright. We're just about safe. There you go, that was a lot of over preparing, but. Now, what am I going to do? <laughs> I should have bought ladders. I will start the base of pyramid which will be nine by nine which is the bottom one so you can get the maximum outputs I think we're still gonna get zapped here so, just finish what do we got five by five So you're looking at me. Maybe I'm too far away from them now. I don't know what their range out of the water is like. I'm sure one of them will. There you go. Don't answer that question. Not out of range. So let's get this going. So what I'll do, I'll finish this up and chuck a beacon on top and I will be back. Okay guys, that's the uh, pyramid done with the beacon on top. And, I don't know, something weird happened. So I, I put the beacon on. But the whole time I've been here, the guardians have been making their laser sounds at me. There's still some there. And as soon as the beacon went on, they stopped. Anyway, I've selected to get strength and regen. So that will help us when we go downstairs. If, you know, when they start hitting us, we'll just regen. So hopefully that will help us as I go through and try to find. Where they? Are they back? There? I don't know why they all suddenly stop. Anyway, that'll help us when we're down there trying to harvest some of these sea lanterns and look for some sponges, which we'll, we'll probably use on the other one over there somewhere. All right, I shall be back in a second once I calm my nerves and psych myself up to go down and play in the sea temple. See you in a second. All right, I'm ready to go. The only thing that I changed is I just put a Depth Strider 3 on my boots. It cost me nine levels, so my 30 levels have dropped down to 21. And what have I got? So water breathing, I don't think we need rockets, and strength. So I've gone for the strength one, which is, I don't know if it's gonna make any difference because we're getting some strength up here. But anyway, definitely the water breathing. So I'm gonna guzzle them. And then I'm gonna go and play downstairs. The video is getting a little bit long. I'll probably do this as a bit of a time lapse. So let's see how I go.
Okay, look, that was about, what was it, 16 minutes or 15 minutes. What did we get? We got a stack and 43 of the sea lanterns. I did find the gold. Didn't find any, um, any sponges. I don't know if I just didn't look in the right spots or they might just not be there. I don't think they're in every, every single place. But that will do us for today or this week even. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That would be great. If you're new here and haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Either way, also hit the little bell button so you get notified of new messages or new videos. And I will see you all next week. Stay safe. Bye.